Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am going to be recreating Miss Universe 2018 Catriona Gray's makeup look from the Grand Coronation. But the catch is, I have to follow her step-by-step -step routine, which she actually posted with Vogue. I watched that video and I was like, this is quite interesting and I think it would be fun to recreate. So, yeah, let's get started. So, Catriona starts with some skincare first before she puts on her makeup so what she does first is micellar water I have here my simple cleansing micellar water in a travel bottle because um, we love to stay clean even when we travel she next puts a serum or face oil I'm going to be applying this 4th Ray Beauty Radiate Vitamin C Elixir. I'll give that a little shake first. She also applies it on the neck. Next thing she does is she applies a eye cream with green tint, but I don't have that. So moving on to the next one instead, she puts on lip balm. I'm gonna go in with my Burt's Bees Vanilla Moisturizing Lip Balm. Next, um, she puts on a primer, but I do not have any primer, so I'm just gonna go in with moisturizer. I'm gonna grab my Supergoop Daily Moisturizer with SPF 40. Alright, so after that, she just goes right into the makeup. She starts with foundation, and she uses the NARS Radiant Foundation for a nice dewy glow. So since I don't have that, my next best bet is the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Glow Radiant Finish Foundation. And what Catriona likes to do is to start from the center outward. She uses a makeup sponge to apply this on her face, which I'm going to do as well using my red Morphe makeup sponge. Next, she moved on with some concealer. She actually used the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, which I have, and she also uses the same shade as me, which is like, wow, I use the same shade as Catriona Gray. So I have here my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Ginger, and I'm just gonna apply that on my trouble spots because that's where she applied her concealer. Usually, I go crazy with concealer. She also put some under her eyes, which, good call girl, same. So I just put a bit on my eyes because I realized that Catriona does not prime her eyes, but I need to prime my eyes in order for the eyeshadow to stick. After that, she grabs a loose powder to bake her under eyes. I'm going to do the same thing using this little Beauty Bakery setting powder in the shade. Oh, I'm just gonna apply that under my eyes. She just went crazy with it. And I think I should do the same. That looks crazy. So right after she sets her eyes, she goes right into her eyeshadow. The first color that she uses is a brownish color. So I'm just gonna grab a similar color from my Modern Renaissance palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm gonna be dipping into raw sienna. So what she does is just a quick feline slant. So that's what we're gonna do. Way too light. So I'm going to mix in raw sienna with cypress pepper. Okay. 
so I spent way too much time on that first color so now I'm going to be dipping into another eyeshadow palette which is my Karuchi Colourpop brown sugar palette so I'm going to be mixing together Jamocha and Sorel and I'm going to just apply that over the top of this first two colors So this is how it turned out. So after this, she applies a darker color. I'm just going to again dip into the brown sugar palette. This time I'm going to reach for henna, which is a dark brown right here. And I'm just gonna apply that on the outer corner. Okay, so that's that. And now, at this point, she applies the NARS Velvet Shadow Stick on her lid, which I do not have. So I'm just going to wing it. And after she applies that uh, NARS stick, she puts on a nice gold glitter in the lid. And what I think is kind of similar to that color is this. It's the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the shade Kathleen Lights. So this is how it looks like. So I'm just going to quickly apply that on my lid. So the camera turned off without my consent. Now I'm just going to grab my two brushes that I use and I'm just going to diffuse and blend it all together. So after that gold base, what she does is she actually puts on a glitter in the inner corner so I'm going to grab Vermeer from the Modern Renaissance palette I think I'm gonna put on Primavera instead because that was way too light so, so after she put on the eyeshadow she actually applied some on her lower lid so lower lid she put some on her lower lash, so I'm just going to do that real quick. The colors that I'm going to put on are going to be Jamocha and Sorel again. So after that, she puts on eyeliner. So I'm going to grab my Ulta Beauty eyeliner. I think I'm going to use the brown one. She just does this to act as a guide for her liquid liner, so... It's not the most perfect, but it's fine. Then she goes in with her liquid liner. I'm going to be grabbing my Fenty Fly Liner. she does is she curls her eyelashes using a eyelash curler but I don't have that so I'm not going to do that and then she puts on mascara but since I have extensions on I won't be doing that either what I will do instead is I will be applying falsies except she likes natural and wispy falsies but my falsies are kind of crazy so I'm just gonna put that and she actually puts two I'm just gonna put one these are my falsies from Gary and Guy. I bought these at Sasa. So just like Catriona, I like to apply it more glue on the edges. <laughs> now moving on to the next I wish me luck. <laughs> Okay, I really, I was 
super nervous about that, I'm not gonna lie. Catriona actually applies a highlight on her brow bone and I forgot to do that so I'm gonna do that now. I'm gonna be using Primavera from the ABH Modern Renaissance Palette. She then swipes away the bake and also applies the powder. I'm gonna be putting on my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder and I'm also gonna be brushing away that loose powder. So Kat actually applies some of the liquid liner on her inner corner and yeah, I'm gonna do that now. She moves on to her contour. I lost my highlighting brush. So I'm going to be grabbing my Bretman Rock Bathe in Paradise palette with Morphe. And she starts with a highlight on her nose. I'm going to do that with the shade Vacation. After that, she grabs a bronzer. I'm going to be grabbing my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Medium Deep Matte Bronzer and I'm just going to apply that on my cheeks and on my forehead. She also applies some blush which is the bane of my existence. I have my Benefit California blush. Just going to apply that on the apples of my cheeks. her contour she puts on some highlighter I'm again going to grab the same palette and I'm just gonna dig in to get laid she puts it near her eye so I'm gonna put it right here okay we're almost done next thing she does is her eyebrows I'm going to be using my benefit browsings so weird for me to do eyebrows last because I always do eyebrows first. Okay, that's done. And she also does this thing where she glues her eyebrows so that it stays in place throughout the day, but I'm not going to do that because I do not need to do that. Now I'm going to be applying some lip liner. This is my ColourPop lippy pencil in the shade Bossy. After that, she goes in with her Fenty Beauty Stunna Lip Paint in the shade Uncuffed, which I have right here. And I'm just gonna do that. She actually gave two options for lip, one brown one and this one, but I think I will, I prefer to go with this one. I did not even put that much and it's already so pretty. Okay, so I put on the lipstick and my lips are really crusty because they are truly going through a number i don't know what they're going through but finally finally it's been one hour and finally we are going to finish this video with some setting spray i got here my mac fix plus prep and prime setting spray and i'm just gonna apply that all over my face okay so I zoomed in a bit and this is the finished look. I think I honestly look more like a clown than Miss Universe, but it is what it is. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was actually quite fun to make. Um, I'm a bit of a mess though. But it was fun to make nevertheless, and thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like, and if you want to see more videos like this one and even some traveling videos, you can subscribe to my channel because there's so much more to come. And you can find me on Instagram right here. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I hope to see you next time. Bye!